This video will cover the topic, Introduction to the Product Rule with Negative Exponents. In this lecture, we will learn the product rule of negative exponents. As a quick refresher, in the product rule of exponents, when the exponentials of the same base are multiplied, we add the exponents. For example, 5 squared times 5 to the 5th equals 5 to the 2 plus 5 power, which equals 5 to the 7th. Or if we had the variable x as the common base, x to the 6th times x to the 7th would equal x to the 6 plus 7, which equals x to the 13th power. So how do negative exponents come in? Great question, because negative exponents are our next step. Let's take a look at the same examples with the exponents as negative numbers. We have 5 to the negative 2 power times 5 to the negative 5 power. The product rule is still the same, so we follow the same steps as if the exponents were positive. These two exponentials have the same base of 5, so we can add the two exponents, written as 5 to the negative 2 plus negative 5. And negative 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 7. So the final answer is 5 to the negative 7th power. What if we have a problem where one exponent is negative and one is positive? Now, if only one exponent is negative, the process is still the same, but the answer will be different. Try 5 squared times 5 to the negative 5th power. From what we learned, because each exponential has a base of 5, we can add the exponents, just like in the other examples, written like this. 5 to the 2 plus negative 5. 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 3. So the final answer is 5 to the negative 3 power. So that means that when I have exponentials multiplied together with the same base, I add their exponents together, whether positive or negative? Yes, the same rules apply here with negative exponents as they do with positive exponents.